Improvise without blooming. This is the thing we're going to do. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to The Moth. My name is Emily and I'm here to tell a true story about me, I guess. So, let's see. Oh, I have to talk and do it at the same time. Okay. Huh. So I have to have seen the room beforehand. Well, whatever. Just pretend like you can do it. My name is Emily, and I'm here to tell a true story. About me, I guess. I was born in Colorado. Yes, it's one of those stories that starts with I was born in, but don't worry. It's a short path from there to here. When I was 10 years old, as the story goes, I got carbon monoxide poisoning and a mix of other gases. I don't really know. And that resulted in brain damage. The most interesting symptom of which is long-term memory loss. But the most interesting question about that experience is whether or not, well, no, whether or not it's not a good way to go about it. How I know. If you have amnesia, how do you know? Right? There are a few techniques for how to know you have amnesia. Like a how-to video. Ways you might know you have amnesia. Both of these techniques involve transactive memory devices. Your husband or Either you can do this with a person who stands right next to you all the time, remembers the life that you have together. That's called being married. I am one of those, a married English. I know how to do English. The other is to wear something that stays with you to tell you the story. I prefer the human, if it matters. Improvised. A life, and a performance about a life, but... One second. 